Looking for Gregor. You found him? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Been expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right, a peller from a village nearby. Gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hang for such offences? Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king. Wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Take it, it's about our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned car to ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Hmm. Cart doesn't look damaged. Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out. Dragged out. <laughs> A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Wonder where its wearer is. What's he doing here? I need them. Greetings. Away go with you go. Who did pick me? I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Here you did grow. Like the mushroom. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no wrong. Oh, anger gets Og and Pog. Og and Pog? Those your friends? Findering of great Og Pog. Human finder on big suited cards. Suited big like so. Mm -hmm. What did they do to this human? Og Pog man's cover to take. They're over. Do you eat him? Nah, no. Body man's, stringy man's, blah. Oggy make man's suited make. Fog, pog and rog suited make. You even need shoes? Suited on whom and it is. Suited once og, pog and rog. Big lords trollers be. Like whom and it. So long. Troll cave must be nearby. When someone pisses you off, you need to plow and kill him. It's not your only arse biting recourse. When what art hit me, humans is all time die. So 
Don't down bloody it, mate. Yeah, that look. That's good enough. Walk up to the pool. Bear your teeth. Fill the ground. Say, fuck off, you miserable cunt. Understand? All right. Let's, uh, go to some exercises. Repeat after me. You thrice fuck all. Now, mother the blowing. Take turn. Come on. <laughs> uh, all right, Pog. Maybe you can give it a shot. Guess we should start with something simpler. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger friend old dog! A wheeze in soup throw! I'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right through that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. Well, gentle trolls, I time I'd traveled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Tell her no go. Tell her shit. Sit us down. Tell her suck cock shoes is big. I can see you've made friends. But Tyler needs to come with me. Blood nowhere Tyler go. Tyler shoes is big. But I need him. Tyler's here stay. You shoes is got, Ugg shoes is got not, Rug got not, Pug got not. Tala shoes is make, Tala go. Now let's all stay calm. Tala will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll uh, get some leather for your shoes. <laughs> Listen to Geralt. He's telling the plowing truth. Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is pog for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you now, pricks. Hmm. Tyler go. We're back come must. Knew you buggers were good mates. Sit tight. Be back in a bit. Gotta admit, you have a way with trolls. Never thought of that in children. Children aren't trolls. And vice versa. Besides, which is your sterile. Ah. That changed a bit. Still tart as rotten rhubarb. Just happened to be passing through. Or did someone send you to find me? Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Geralt. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? They tell you? Clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details, though. Maybe you'd be willing. Gesture of gratitude? Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. 
Be that way. How'd you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. You saying the Black Ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Well, fuck all as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. And you'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy, and you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who takes an interest in cobblers? No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul. Blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mostly. But sometimes, they say something interesting. Mike? That's all I'm willing to say. Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mates sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. How'd you become a cobbler? Pick the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shite cover. Pissed too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. It's all about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain. One in the same yard all the time. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobble together this fancy rolling stall. Lovely. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed, blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach, and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate. I'm plowing calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own. So, blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right. Gotcha. So long, Taller. And good luck. Oh, I can bloody use it. Radovid's one crafty oar with a clap. But we'll figure a way around that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. Welcome to Honeyville, Traveller. Holofurnace Meyersdorf at your service. Meet my sons, Bernie, Franklin, and Hugo. Hmm. Any relation to Rico Meyersdorf? Uh, uh, yes. My youngest son. Sadly, he fled the family business. Went to seek fortune in the big city. Why do you ask? Do you know him? <laughs> well, yeah, we've met. But that's not why I'm here. Came about the notice you posted. It's the Apiarian Phantom. It's ravaging my hives. You do realize this Apiarian Phantom? Well, there is no such thing. It's a monster, gotta be. A wraith, maybe. Any of your workers see anything? I did. I was cleaning a hive when I heard a farmhand cry out. Screamed as though he'd been stung by a whole swarm all at once. I ran to him, but he was dead. Any stings on him? None. D he looked like he had frostbite. Blue lips, frost in his hair, and dead bees lay all around him. Farmhand who died, 
What did you do with the body? Wouldn't mind a look. Too late for that. We buried the poor fellow a few days back. Where'd the phantom appear? Can any of you show me? I'll go. Come with me. Ah, this ah. way. Follow me. Where do you get the idea it was an apiarian phantom? It's a beekeeping superstition. You mismanage the bees' offerings, the phantom appears. It destroys the hives and kills the bees, so that no one can use these noble creatures for ignoble purpose. Sick to your bees on the competition, eh? No. Father recently signed a contract with the Redanians. So the phantoms from Nilfgaard. This is the place. Here's where the phantom killed the farmhand. Maybe it left some tracks. What if a halfling became a witcher, eh? Covered in frost. Cold must have killed the bees. The Aperian Phantom's got large feet. And it's pretty damn heavy. Tracks disappear in the water. Doubt anything's hiding in this puddle they call a lake. Need to check the other side, see if the trail goes on. Show me a pond, and I'll show you the drowners. But they didn't destroy the hives. through here. Gotta find another way in. It's locked. I got the key right here. The father began building this house for Bernie, but ran out to coin. It's been standing half finished since. Wonderful hiding place for whatever destroyed your hives. I'm going in. You go home and bar your door. Who knows what might come out of there. It's a hound of the wild hunt. How the hell did it end up here? Roach will run you down. Your Apiarian phantom was a hound of the wild hunt. Eternal fire! Hounds run with the wild hunt as well. 
About two weeks back, I woke suddenly in the night, saw the hunt streaking across the sky. Hound must have gotten separated then. Couldn't go back, so it hid in the empty house. It's hardly compensation for your losses, but at least the Hound won't destroy any more hives. Thank you, Witcher. It's true. Nothing like hiring a specialist. Enough for today, boys. Let's go home. It's a big day tomorrow. Let's rebuild the hives the Hound destroyed. Ah! Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council. Flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. When did you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Thanks. So long. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Not the marks of a Garcane or a Flutter. Gotta be an Ekimara. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. 
can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks, here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off, before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Karadin? Asking you for the last time. Guards, to the dungeon with them. Guy's more trouble than the Ekimara. The Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern Vienne frequents? Yeah. See you later. All right. High time you explained some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, you're fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. Far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vien. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vien? What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. 
Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Carradine's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Carradine's band? Aside from me. Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigor, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> Well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to you then. We need information about Hammond. Carradine's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigor, the kind rich men frequent. Whores suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Celise always did have horrible taste. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Salise. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige, try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Solis. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Elfgard fucking dismantled the Temerian secret service in one night. I barely escaped with me life. Proceeded to drown my sorrows, to my liver scream bloody murder. What do you do now? Grassroots work. I hang about the area, watching, listening, asking questions, and recruiting new agents. Life treating you all right? Eh, uh, bit like a potato beetle. I keep quiet, stay out of trouble, live on fucking potatoes. Farewell. Yeah, I do. Most of the fucking time, thanks. In that right. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. You play Gwent, Roach? Yes, but there's no one to play against here. If you've got a deck, pull it out. Good luck. Kill King. Congratulations. Here. You earned the card. Know anyone else worth playing? I've heard of a man came through Novigrad recently. You might be interested to know he's also a Witcher. Lambert, they call him. I know Lambert. Had no idea he played Gwent, though. Not the only acquaintance you can challenge. 
Tala's a keen gambler and has a sharp deck. He's in the area. You might try him. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Did I hear right? Where it is you like to play cards. I like to play, period. Dice, cards, chess. I unwind playing games. You asking because you got fuck all to talk about? Or are you in the mood for a round? All right, let's play. Just remember, only interested in good cards. Don't want any trash. A little is rotting cut. Know how long it took me to assemble that plowing deck? You've been at this for a while. Gotta know some players who are good, and what's more, have good cards. Been hearing a lot of late about some prick named Lambert. Supposed to have an evil fucking deck. You might know him, actually. He's a witcher. Thanks for the invite. Congratulations. Quite a win of the Vagal Buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Palio. Make some real coin. Palio? Never heard of it. Fuck me, what a peasant. The Palio's a race held at night in the city streets. Used to be every district sponsored a competitor. Things are different now. You're gonna race jockeys put forward by Bedlam and Reuven, but my coin's on you. Fine, I'll race. Lovely, colour me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, because I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. The Palio! He's above all a race of honor. The winner doesn't just win a reward, he earns our respect as well. So, take your positions and get the fuck going. Lever had a good upset for you. Congratulations. Whoa there, Roach. Give us a kiss, Geralt. No? Then I'll smooch that Roach of yours. That were lovely. And my pay? Take it, you cheeky bastard. Never met a man who earned his coin fairer than you did today. Temple Guard! Scatter! We gotta get the fuck out of here. Thanks, Geralt. 